Today's reading are the words of Mary, the mother of Jesus, from Luke chapter 1, verses 46 to 55. Oh, how my soul praises the Lord! How my spirit rejoices in God my Savior! For he took notice of his lowly servant girl, and now all generations will call me blessed. For the Mighty One is holy, and He has done great things for me. He shows mercy from generation to generation to all who fear Him. His mighty arm has done tremendous things. He has scattered the proud and haughty ones. He has brought down princes from their thrones and exalted the humble. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away with empty hands. He has helped his servant Israel and remembered to be merciful. For he made this promise to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children, forever. In Mary's culture, women were second-class citizens. No male leader of her day, let alone an angel, would have greeted this woman of almost no status by calling her favored one. When Mary sang that God lifts up the lowly, she did so as a living example of that. No wonder she exalted in God's inversion of human values. He has pulled down the powerful and lifted up the lowly. God valued who she really was no matter what her social status. Mary began her song with words of gratitude and praise. With all my heart, I glorify the Lord. As we move through this season, remembering the promises that were a part of the Christmas event, who or what in your life are you thankful for? Which of the promises of Christmas lead you to glorify the Lord with all your heart? Mary rejoiced that her child would fulfill God's promises to bring justice to an unjust world. Her song was full of allusions to Old Testament promises that God would one day deliver Israel from oppressors. She believed that in Jesus, God would care for the lowly, hungry, and oppressed. In which ways are you rich? How willing are you to use your God-given ability to lift the burdens of those who are lowly in parts of life where you are strong? Let's pray. Lord Jesus, when Mary grasped that you would be her child, she celebrated with a song of gratitude. Help me to truly celebrate you this Advent season, to glorify you with all my heart. Amen.